Hey guys, it's Matt Winning at winningstrength.com and we get a lot of questions asking about hey Matt, I want to get my bench to increase, I want to do it safely and how should I do that? Well a lot of that is based in the warm up. So let's get to it. For those of you guys that are super serious about getting your bench press up, we just dropped the new bench press ultimate bench press manual with all the techniques and exercises that I would use at both the beginner, intermediate, and advanced levels on the website. So go and check that out. But we're going to cover some things today that I think will help everyone, regardless of whether you want to get the manual or not. And here it goes. One, you need to get the lats ready to bench press. Now I know to the average gym goer or gym rat, what are you talking about? You need to get your lats ready? Well understand this, your lats stabilize your scapula and your scapula is what's connected to your shoulder. And most of the time, for most people, the reason they have to stop benching is because of shoulder pain and shoulder injury. A lot of this is happening because posture is already bad and anteriorly rotated. So as you're looking at these pictures, most people today, because they sit at a desk and type, they have a forward lean in their shoulder posture where the rotator cuff is already stretched and the anterior delt is already dominant. The more lat and upper back work you do, the more it straightens out your back, making you in a better posture, which is good for longevity, neck health, and shoulder health, but also very, very needed in order to be in a massive bench presser, especially if you want to be in it long term. The next big thing is you need to prep the elbows and forearms. This means you need to prep the back side or posterior side of the arm. If you look at advanced research articles, they're going to show you that the pec becomes a stabilizer and the tricep becomes the main presser in ultra heavy pressing movements. This means that the tricep is very, very important to being super strong. Now Bill Kazmaier has been telling us this for 40 years, Louis Simmons has been telling us this for 30 years, and I've been telling everybody this for at least 15 years. Now the problem is, is most people think that the bench press is a pec exercise, and you're not absolutely wrong. But at maximal weights, and if you want to increase your maximal strength, in my personal opinion, I believe that the tricep is more important, not only for your technique, but also to save your pec tendons and your shoulders. The other thing that we said was elbows. Now elbows obviously mean tricep, but also mean forearms. So when you're bench pressing, you want to make sure you're trying to squeeze the bar as hard as possible. Now every time I've hit either a one rep max at a competition, or I'm training very, very hard, my forearms are very sore. Why? Because I'm trying to turn a bar this thick into something this thick the entire time. If you look at a lot of research papers, they're talking about grip strength and rotator cuff health. But when you're bench pressing, if you're just letting that bar sit in your hand with your hand not tight, then what you're actually doing is not letting the rotator cuff turn on in its maximum capacity, therefore it can be prone to injury. So squeezing the bar super tight, getting the forearms insanely strong. I mean, let's look at Maddox's forearm. Let's look at Eric Spoto's forearm. Let's look at Scott Mendelson and his prime's forearm. You notice something? Their forearms are bigger than most people's legs, and that's why they bench press well over 700 pounds. The next thing, and we kind of hit it on it with grip, is warming up the rotators. So if you look at these Poliquin rotator cuffs and also these exercises that we're doing on the floor, you're going to notice that you need to be very strong and as flexible as possible in this area in order to keep injuries from happening. The big problem is when you start to bench press is that most people think that right your triceps, your pecs, and your shoulders are the main pressers. And they're not wrong with the lats being stabilizers. But the small muscles are usually the ones that start to cause issues and eventually stop you from bench pressing long term or short term. One of these major, major muscle groups is the rotator cuff which involves the infra and supraspinatus. These muscles are very, very small and they have a very important job of stabilization. Now, if you do not directly train these muscle groups, you will eventually have a big problem with them tearing either partially or completely, therefore basically knocking you out of the bench press game. So I hope this helps you guys a ton, and if you need more help, go check out the bench press manual at winningstrength.com, and we also train the bench press very smart in power lifting manual, the power building manual, and the hypertrophy manual. Now if you're ultra elite or you really want to get the coaching down to a science, 
You need to have your technique mastered every workout. And that's why we created online coaching. So if you go to the website, we have all levels and tiers to help you with whatever your budget can allow. Talk to you guys soon. Lately I've been living like I can't take a